So we got a call for a Chevy truck that uh, is disabled up on Cedar Mountain. I think they got some snow and uh, did some damage to the front end. We're gonna go up there and see if we can get them pulled out to the road and loaded up on the trailer and sent back to safety. I don't know what conditions are. I know it's been snowing up there all day, so. Yeah, it looks like it might rain. It's cloudy, uh, about 54 degrees. It's not too cold, no wind for a change. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. We'll go up and get them out. Got Lizzie in my Jeep today. Yep. Bananas on a trailer in front of us. The weather in Cedar and definitely Cedar Mountain is different than Hurricane, but there's looks like there's a little breeze. Um, it's probably snowing up on Cedar Mountain, so it'll be cold. But we'll get the job done. Indeed, we will. So we're up. We're climbing an elevation and. Well, Ed, we need another weather report. Well, it's raining and almost snow. There's snow on the ground, and we might get in some bad weather up here. I don't know what elevation we're going to, but uh, it don't look that great. We were supposed to be doing this job this morning, but the customer had some trouble getting out of town. They were coming up from Las Vegas, and uh, we're gonna be working in the dark. There's no two ways around it now. It's snowing now. <laughs> We're climbing 32 degrees. It's snowing. Matt might be in the mud in the snow, but I'll stay in the truck. <laughs> it's the smart one. This is slick. Yeah, like it's ice underneath. Like, that's not pavement there. That's a sheet of ice. I want your honest opinion, though. <laughs> this is pretty bad. How you doing? Oh, oh man. Geez. Been doing better. <laughs> I sure wish you'd have been up here this morning. We're in the middle of a uh, winter storm warning here for us. Are you? Yeah. You think it'd be better to, uh, wait this one out and I mean it's gonna be nothing but snow for the rest the next couple of weeks but well it's gonna to have to get over a foot of snow before it stops the Jeeps so it's not gonna they're calling for a foot of snow total in this storm gotcha so what happened with your dodge what's the story we were driving up taking a drive one afternoon and I was starting to slide in the snow and couldn't figure out why and after it got stuck hooking up toe straps underneath it and saw that that front axle is broken cv's broken there's a mount on the axle housing that supports the whole thing that's sheared off it's ifs right? yeah, yeah. we're in some pretty heavy fog along with this snow i think Ed. i can't see outside so i don't know <laughs> what it is it's about 30 degrees, 25, uh, just a white out, it's snowing bad, and I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> we might have to call for the cat. That's the first time I've had to sit here doubt in Ed's voice. <laughs> Summit, 9,910. This is one of the crazier ones we've done. I mean, it's standard other than we can't see and we could drive off a cliff. It's literally it's snowing. snowing into my Jeep. Oh, looking out, there's nothing really to see. It's just kind of white. white. You can see the road signs and that's pretty much all. I wonder if Matt's thinking, yeah, we definitely should have brought the snow cat now. So the original plan was actually to come up earlier this morning before the storm even rolled in. And uh, that didn't happen. So now we're up here later in the day, obviously in the snowstorm. <laughs> we're gonna go get this guy out. So yeah, <laughs> just like wish us luck, fingers crossed. Trevor, what do you think? Pretty sketchy. Lizzie, you should not have come. You should not have come. <laughs> <laughs> So here's what we're wondering. Um, this isn't gonna get any worse than it is right here going down. 
and we might want to go down through the Ponderosa. If that's the case, I'm not going to unload. If we get in trouble, we can always unload, pull each other out. What are you thinking? Like, this is, this is as bad as it gets. Yeah. But it's going to keep getting worse. But we're going to start losing elevation really fast that way. So they are down towards the They're 13, 13 miles down there. They're about halfway halfway distance-wise between here and the Ponderosa. I say we just stay loaded up until... Okay. Okay. So. All right, that's what we're going to do. Just follow me. If I get in trouble, you'll have to figure out what to do. Okay, where do we go here? Just straight? Yep. Yeah, you can take this road to it. This is a mess, man. Clean. Well, I don't know whether to keep going or turn around. Can you pull me up this hill? Yep. Well, come look up to me. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Nice bit of blizzard going on. Yep. <laughs> you can see it got considerably colder and it's snowing and blowing. Nice and deep. <laughs> Rudy thought he could pull them, but can't get started. We're gonna back up to flat ground, maybe get a run at it, see if they can't make it up this hill. the first time no, it isn't. <laughs> that I've been on one. Here, Lindsay, hold this for a second. I can't even see anything. It's cold and it's snowy and I have three and a half jackets on. And it's like blowing into my Don't cut anybody in half. All right, I'm gonna get over here. goggles on but it makes it too dark to see anything. <laughs> yeah. uh, I left the clear ones at home unfortunately. Okay. We're looking good back there? Yep. Perfect. Where are you going Randy? This side? I'll go the other side. Whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as we get both. Stop. Whoa. 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 What does that let off the gas mean? When you backed up, right when you needed it, you let off the gas. So now just back up with a steady throttle, clear to the front of my truck. Stop, stop. That first run, you had it perfect. And right when your back wheels hit the dirt, the berm, you just let off the gas and then you rolled to a stop and you got on it. I think you're gonna be okay. So turn hard right and pull gently forward. Left water. Okay. Yeah, it's all for a second. Yeah. 
I know, I said come back and you let off the throttle. <laughs> I was trying not to hit you. I have zero vision. I know, I, I had this rope. I was out, I wasn't behind you and I could pull the slot. I didn't know that. up the front I think. Yeah you have. Dang it. We were close. Oh yeah you can slip If it was doing that when you did it too. Somebody should have stopped me. I was holding the brake trying to get both I wheels. I was holding to the brake right there too. Alright. That that wheel never moved that entire time. We'll just pull you back. I need a spotter. I sliced it. I can feel air coming out of there. Dang it. Dang it indeed. I did bring a spare tire though. What do you think, Ed? <laughs> Is this some it's, sort of fiasco? At least it slowed up the wind and the snow. <laughs> I sliced it right here backing up. That's what I cut it on. Oh, that, that was on the. That was Today, Steering's a real hero. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Now we got. Woohoo! We got. Now we have to fix. We got a <laughs> flat tire. So I learned a valuable lesson too late. Should have brought the Bombi. Definitely Snowcat. Let's do this. down. I'm to take the pressure off of it. Pull what now? Okay. It's scary with you guys rocking this. 
That tire's not getting any grip. Moving on? Yeah, it's every every rock it's going up. This isn't gonna work. It's just gonna roll off from underneath there. Every time, huh? get turned around and I'll get my winch on the front of yeah, you. Yeah, you go put your truck in position. We're going to need your truck no matter what. I put them in my backpack. Oh, I'm going to get bad mouth on this one. Yeah. We went too far and we didn't turn around in time. And then we, and then we made a couple of uh, decisions. And then we made at least two more after that. Yeah. For sure. All we right. Not be done yet. We may not be done yet. Hang on. Let's see what we got going on here. Wow! Look at it. Like my wings float. Is this what it's like in Canada all the time? Not all the time. <laughs> Eight months people, out of the year. <laughs> people do live in Canada. This is not why, though. I don't think anyway. That's not why I live there or live there. They have good maple syrup, really. <laughs> Gently pull it, real slow. Stop. Under the snow, you gotta find it. Okay. Gotta give these tires a bad review because you ruined it. Yeah, <laughs> that was entirely my fault. Didn't even last 200 miles. Do you want to hold those? Look at that. Woo! Roasty. That is a cut. Yeah, look at it. It delaminated. <laughs> Are these acorn side in? I am so embarrassed. You should be. Just going out here. It's okay. Rescuing somebody and then getting stuck yourself. It's we okay. will do this very differently tomorrow. I'm out here on Cedar Mountain in the middle of the night in the middle of a snowstorm and I'm getting anti-seize on my fingers. I love the anti Six people watching you change the tire. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're ready? We're back to that. Yeah, just, ro just roll it. <laughs> oh, I'm getting kind of cozy out here. I might take my jacket oh, off. Hey, hey, Lizzie, pay attention in case this rolls. Your winch has come in good twice. When? Like tonight? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I have it on. Like, this is a I know, real hero. I know in the sand. Hey, weight, put a little pressure on it. Weight is everything, but uh, it Not definitely, much, just a definitely carries its own weight. Okay, a little. Trevor, keep her on, keep her on the road. So if it's hunting, have it shift down to third. You know what I mean? Did you hear what he said? Yeah. Well, Ed, you gonna go without a rope? That was flat. Yeah. Ooh. That was flat out ridiculous. Bring a cat up, huh? Yeah. But I'm wondering if we should come in the other way tomorrow. What do you think? I think I should try to drive this in there. How stuck do you want to get today? <laughs> I don't load it. So we decided to come in from the bottom side. We got a pretty hard freeze last night and 
Going, coming in from the top is not an option. We could get in with the snow cap, but I don't know how far down until we ran out of snow. Yeah, I don't need And then we're not going to drag it back up. I don't play that. <laughs> Way too early for that. Anyway, Paul's coming along for the ride because this is his territory. And uh, we need somebody to eat if we get stranded. It's a little colder than normal today. It's probably around 16, 17 degrees in the high teens. Um, with snow on the ground, maybe a little mud, but it'll be fun. Hopefully I don't get cold. We'll get the job done this time. So it was a little early in the morning for Ed to come along. He, he said if we absolutely needed him, he would come, but if not, he was gonna sleep in and just wait for us to get back. If we would have listened to him last night, we wouldn't have gotten the mess we got in. But sometimes it happens. Yeah, it happens. So the mud on this North Fork Road is world famous, and I'm not even kidding. Um, I know I've, I've seen comments before where people like from Georgia or somewhere is like, yeah, we came out to visit Zion. We got caught in a rainstorm on the North Fork Road and I have never seen anything like it. So we're kind of racing the clock here because the sun's going to come out and turn this frozen mud into regular mud. But it's not going to be regular mud because it's going to be North Fork mud. So the stakes are still pretty high even though this is going a lot smoother than, than last night. It's, uh, it still could go south on us. last night was ridiculous but this makes it look even even more worse ridiculous uh -huh. even the good decisions we made were bad hang on a second Paul here <laughs> yeah we'd have been swapping batteries <laughs> it's broke. It's broken? The whole front end's falling out. Yeah. Did you bring baling wire by chance? No, and I even knew about this. I did too, and I forgot about it. You live in Glendale, don't you carry that in your back pocket? I may have some in my bag. I'm going to look and see. <laughs> Not CV axle toes. Well, yeah, I just don't want it to rip the strut out. It's rubbing on the strut. borrow some wire from the fan. Your wire just broke in half. Well, that's some good wire. That should work. Do you want this? No, I think I'll use mine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this side will come out. <laughs> I knew there was going to be fabrication, that's Thanks. why I called you. Please, you knew it was going to be cold and you wanted me to lay in the ground. Man, oh. good thing you're here to engineer that, Paul. Yeah, never could have got it without me. All right, I'm going to mob this thing out of here gently. Thing. Door unlock, there we go. This is going along swimmingly. As you can see, the, the differential is actually ripped loose off of its mount. So it's just laying there. It's connected to the drive shaft still. And then one of the CV axles is going into it. So if we put this in two wheel drive, we're not spinning the drive shaft. Um, the one CV axle is spinning and going into the differential, but it's not spinning spinning the ring and pinion gears 
which would also be spinning the drive shaft. So there's no like there's no further damage we can do driving it out like this. Hundred percent opposite of pregnant. <laughs> I know. It's like, is this the same job? Could have sworn. Could have sworn it didn't go like that the other night. It should have gone like that, but it didn't. Well, that's a job done over the course of two days. Yeah. So, a lot of bad decisions the first day. A lot of good ones the second day. Yeah. So it went about as bad as it could have the first day and about as good as it could have. The I'm going to take second. full ownership of the first day if I can take a tiny bit of ownership for the second. You can. Okay, well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.